give myself away I give myself away So you can use me I give myself away I give myself away So you can Come on, let him know I give myself away I give myself away So you can use me I give myself away What would happen if a generation embraced this? Come on, tell me. Here I am. Here I am, here I stand, Lord, my life is in your hands, Lord, I know to see your desires revealed in me. I give myself.
saw you and use me. I gave myself away. this and every time 
Let his love again break me, that they may be filled with the Holy Spirit, that they may receive Jesus in their life, and that they will go, oh Father God, in the name of Jesus, through the power of his resurrection, in Jesus' name. Be effective in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 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 And I'm asking you to stand in place until the family has departed. Amen. And then you can file out and we will meet you at... Uh
For as much as the spirit of the departed has returned to God, who gave it, we therefore commit her body to the ground, Amen. to the time, earth to earth, That's it. ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the rapture of the saints, when the dead shall be resurrected and the living shall be changed at the last day, and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ at his second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world, the earth and the sea shall give up their dead and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. I hear the word saying, I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, write, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor and their works do follow them. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Let's bow our heads. Almighty God, with whom do live the spirit of God. I'm gonna sit down and God my
Hi Grandma, uh, just to let you know you will be surely deeply missed. Um, you was the heart of this family and you will definitely be missed. Um, may your soul rest in eternal peace and God keep you safe in heaven, which I'm, I'm sure you're having a good time already. Love you Grandma. God bless you all. You are absolutely fantastic today. You came out and showed up. And that's more important than anything else. Because Mother Gail had a life of service, so it was good to see her children and her great-grandchildren and her sisters come out just to support her so that she never felt lonely at the last part of her journey. May God bless you all and Lord keep you, love you from Bishop David Lee. God bless you now. Okay. For the family of the late Mother Gail, you know what, Mother Gail was a mama to me, and I'm Sister Gwen, I was one that used to be going around to fry fish for Mother Gail, but Mother Gail has been an inspiration to me, and you families, I love you so much, you know, you just show the love, and beloved, let me tell you something, whoever is not saved, find your way and give your life to God. So that on the day when the resurrection call, you will meet with Mama Gail, so you know that she's made her way to heaven. So I just entreat those that are not saved to get baptized in Jesus' name. And I love you all. God bless you. You are such a shining light for your grandmother, your mother, and your great grandmother. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you, Mother Gail. Nice to know you, that you were a child of God. And I, I know that when we as Christians say we are a child of God, we mean it, and to carry it out to the end. Believe it in the Lord, because of what he has done at Calvary Cross for us. May the Lord bless and keep you wherever you are at this moment, and may you see him face to face in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello there. Mother Gail was my very good friend. I met her at Sister Faye's house, the Bethel Apostolic Church in prior meeting. And um, from then, we became very good friends. She was like mother to me, and I was like a daughter to her. Always take her to church. She and Vivian pick them up every Sunday morning, take them to church, take them back from church. We had meals together, we had prior together. We sing together, and so I really missed Mother Gail. And sometimes I felt as if I want to call her on the phone just to talk with her, but unfortunately, she's not there anymore. And when I came to visit um, Sister Gail in our last few days, we came on the Friday at me and Sister Williams, and um, we stayed with her until the Saturday, and by the Sunday, she passed away. The journey from Gloucester to Luton, no, I mean, the, uh, the journey was well spent. When we went there, she held our hands up, she praised God, she sang with us, we read the scripture for her, she speak in tongues, we glorify God, and she says we should worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. May our soul rest in peace, and I'll continue to pray for Evangelist Pat and all our children and grandchildren. God bless you. 
This is Bangela Sam's. Yeah, you had a lovely send off today, um, which you deserve. And I'm going to start that again because I've paused now. Yeah, you've had a lovely send off today, which you finally deserved. All the families here, everybody's getting on. And, uh, you know, it's lovely to see everybody here. And I just want to say that. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> I am sorry to hear the bad news, I'm so sorry, but um, I love you always and I will never forget you. Love and respect, Auntie Lynn. To families and to friends, both near and far, um, just sending my tribute to a very mother, a grandmother, and a very dear sister that I love and cherish. You know, uh, my deepest condolences to the family at this moment. You know, um, Mother Gail is a uh, mother that I know and she's so blessed, you know, and um, one of the memories that's going to live on for me is that she sing to every problem that seems to occur. And I love that dearly about her. So at this particular time, as I, you know, as I represent all the members of the church, I, I, I just want to say, she's done it deeply, sincerely, Miss. God bless you. Thanks again. Peace out. Hello, Lynn. This is sister-in-law, Margaret. Sorry to hear of your loss. In my mind and memory forever. Love you. This is a message on behalf of the... No, my, my mum, children, and her grandchildren. My name's Jennifer, and I'm her first daughter, first child. Mum, I know you're not going to be able to hear this, but I'm really shocked that I'm here at your funeral. Um, I know you can't hear me, but I have to talk to you to get rid of the pain. And um, I know I tried my best to come and see you, but it was impossible to do it more often. But you were always in my heart. Rest in peace, my love. God bless you. And hopefully we'll meet again. Thank you. Hi, Auntie. It's Wendy. Um, I'm, I'm so proud to be here today. You've had a lovely send off. We all love you. We all miss you. And my dad's here with us, that's his ring, so he's here in spirit. We love you and we miss you and God bless you. And we'll see you soon. Auntie Lynn, I was blessed to know you. I've always been blessed with the family I've got. And you dearly miss. Remember days when we were kids? We used to bring... The dean down to see us. We take her out. Uh, good days. But, yeah, love you, Auntie. Dearly missed. Yeah. Hi, you, Auntie Lynn. This is my husband, Rick. Um, so we haven't seen each other for a while. I used to always talk about the times that you used to come in Tesco when I was supposed to be working, and you kept me talking for quite a long time. I get told off by the manager and used to have a big smile on your face and then go out the door. I go, I always, always remember them days and I was always talk about I love you to bits yeah. and you always remind me of my dad. Love you. I wish I'd have met you. <laughs> grandma, great grandma, we just want to say thank you so much for the memories that you gave us. We're so blessed to have you in our lives. 90 years strong, we see you were the head of our family. And it's going to be a new life, new beginning, learning how now to kind of just live life now without you. But thankful and grateful for the memories that we will always cherish. You will always be in our hearts. And yeah, rest well, sleep well, rest in peace. We love you. 
Hey Grandma, um, it's a message to say. Thank you for the memories and all the things that you've done for us when we were growing up. From Coventry to Newton. I don't remember much of when you was in Birmingham. I don't remember that. Maybe that was before my time. I remember Coventry, staying at yours at the weekends, playing with Auntie B, listening to Uncle Irving on the piano. Um, you're going to be missed, Grandma. You're definitely going to be missed. Happy birthday, happy heaven and birthday. Keep watching over us. Thank you, my daddy, a big hug and a kiss. Love you, Grandma. Grandma, we just want to say thank you so much for the memories. Thank you for being in our lives. Thank you that we actually had the privilege of knowing you. 19 years old and God bless you all those years. So we just want to say thank you, cherish you, honour you, you know, and lift you up really. Um, you are the head of our family, our final grandparents. Thank you for all the trips that you made to Birmingham um, and just for being in our lives. So, you know, lift you up, rest well, sleep well, we love you. Bye, Mommy. Say bye, Mommy. I'll miss you. You'll miss her. Yeah. You won't see her again, yeah? Say bye, Mommy. Bye. Miss you. Miss you. Love you. Um, yeah. Okay. Mom, I'm really sorry. But I hope that one day we'll meet. Not in anywhere else but heaven. And just rest in peace until that day comes in Jesus' name. Yeah. Okay. okay, we'd just like to say from all of us, we love you and you'll always be missed. You'll always be in our hearts. Great memories. R.I.P. R.I.P. He's going first. I'll go first. Grandma, my twin, I love you. I miss you so much. You was my whole heart, as I say to everybody, my whole heart beat. I love you and I can't wait to see you again. Rest in peace, Grandma. I miss you. I love you. Rest in peace, Grandma. I love you. Hi, Grandma. Um, I've only met you a few times, but the impact that you had on me was at my wedding when you blessed our table and you told us to shake the devil off our back. <laughs> so rest in peace, Grandma. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I would like to start off being the eldest grandson right. of Mother Gail. I want you to open up that. Excuse me. King, King. Who's that? See you on the other side. See you on the other side. Thank you, Mother Girl, for everything you've taught me, everything that you've instilled in me about the love of God. I will never, ever forget the last words you said to me when I came to see you that will always stay with me for the rest of my life. And those words were, God is real. So thank you for sharing that with me. And thank you for showing me how to praise and worship God. So literally, I just want to say thank you, Mother Girl, and thank you for continuing to love us. And I know you're looking down from the heavens. Stay blessed, everyone. Sure. Here it is. Right now. All right. I'm Adrian. I'm the first grandson of Mother Gail. Mm -hmm. She's my grandmother, and I love her to pieces, and I'm going to miss her dearly. Mm -hmm. Grandma, love you to the ball, always and forever, near and far. Thank you. Me first. Me first, next. Grandma. Well, we go way back, don't we? I remember coming to your house at Seven Road. I took my youngest, my younger brother down there one night, and I knew that night. I said, "Yes, you're my grandma." He looked after me, as Nasha said earlier, with your cups of tea and your belching. <laughs> I'll never forget it, Grandma. You're a unique person, and from what I found out today, even more about you, Grandma. 
Trust me, I miss you. But you know who I miss more? Grandma, is your mom. Because that's where you come from. You come, you come from a good start, Grandma. Mama. I'm in love with you. And I'll always love you. Yes. And rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Ziggy Marley Amen. telling that. Amen. Amen. Kids, anything you want to say, kids? No, Come on. We love you, great grandma. Yes. We love you, grandma. We love you, grandma. We love you, grandma. Rest in peace. Remember that tune? Rest grandma, we love you. Grandma, we do. <laughs>